All right, guys. Welcome back to the Kids Coding Playground channel again. Uh, today we'll work on continue working on this uh, platform, uh, Scratch platform again. Uh, we'll try to address some of the issue we encountered last time with the uh, treasure hunter jumping through the uh, platform here. So we'll see if we can fix it uh, now. I think um, I might have uh, missed some of the code earlier, uh, so that's why I messed it up. So we'll try to see if we can fix it. And uh, so before we begin, please like, share, subscribe to our channel. And you know, if you uh, know anybody who's interested, please pass our channel along to them. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the issue we have was jumping through. Right? Let's try to see if we can fix it. Let's go to this um, code here. I think last time we did not have the code for this. We have to add this code. So basically what it does is we are trying to add the, um, make this uh, uh, platform go to the front and then go back uh, the layer so it doesn't block anything in this platform. And also we will add this code for the tree. So when the green flag is clicked, make sure the tree can go in the back. So let's see if this will help a little bit. And also let's add this back to the to this ninja here. If it's touching the brown color, we'll move it down. And make sure we have this run without refresh on for this and this okay and that okay all right i think those are the only one that's running on the loop without refresh that will help okay let's try it again so okay hmm. so here you see it, it does does get block him down um i think somehow you know like on the here because of the side Oh, that little little side trying to move them up. That's the problem because of that little little side here, because that's not not brown. I will check in this brown light. So unless you do like brown or this brown or something like that, then it'll it'll work a little bit better. But for now, we are just try to just a simple platform game for this uh, treasure hunter. Um, so we'll try to just adjust this, you know, so that he could kind of land on the have enough space between you know each of the platform that he's jumping so so we can we can just adjust it so that you know um, your game basically just kind of move so that will fit a little bit better so we'll have enough space to move okay all right okay so um basically um we fixed it all the code so make sure that you uh have similar code as i have you know with the color and everything so um looks like it's fine now um so we have the uh, all the run code here let's just go through it so you should have something similar like this the jump code okay and then this is uh, when arrow key is pressed calling the jump control we'll go here this simulate gravity we have the uh, touching the brown color moving back down this is the cream color of the platform like right here Okay, and now we get to the main piece of code. This will put these two together. I think somehow this works better for this one. I don't know. Sometimes it has problem, so I put it back. Seems like it's okay right now. And this is the the check if he doesn't have any key press and he should stay in still. Okay, let's just try one more time. So let's go. So you can see it is bouncing. It's not moving him up so we can jump we cannot jump straight through now that seems to be fine so uh, that is seems to be working fine so this one is a little high i mean it's kind of hard to jump but to run and jump but you know you can kind of move it back down a little bit so you see i can still do it if i run and jump uh, so depending on how you want the, the platform, you can just kind of move them back down a little bit, adjust it as you want. So let's finish this piece. So we're almost done. So we'll do the slide. So we have the same thing, right? We have within the costume, you have all the slide, right? Slide here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this out. Copy this, control C, copy the name out. And let's go back to the code. And similarly, we'll duplicate this set of code here. We'll say down arrow press. 
we don't need the direction so wherever the direction is facing that will be the direction it's going to slide toward and we can change the move speed instead of move speed with the run speed it could be really fast so we'll change it to five so we'll put that here and then we'll change this to the uh, sliding custom and we can use a run reuse the run reduce the uh, run index here okay all right so we'll put it part of the run index um, custom okay let's try it again so we'll push down as you can see it slide really slow if you push the left and right arrow key and slide it will go faster you see okay so we are pretty much done with the slide now last thing we want to do is we want to do the score and the gym okay all right we'll be on the gym so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new block called uh, random position so we'll put the gym at a random position okay okay and now uh, what we can do is uh, when you will say um, when this uh, go to go to random position and you can have a repeat until and you say not we we'll use the end join here we can use sensing and we are going to use the not operator so we don't want him to touch the platform and we're going to use another N operator here so let me zoom in a little bit okay we want to use the Y position of the gym so make sure this gym doesn't generate more than this Y position so the Y position has to be um, uh, greater than 9 negative 9 negative uh, 95 so it has to be greater than so use the operator and use the um, go back here say y position and it should be greater than negative 95 so somewhere on the top and it should be maybe like right here right so 140 ish maybe and it should be less than 140 so we'll put and the y position is less than 140 so we're trying to generate the gym between these two area here and repeat until it's not not this and greater than the, this position and less than this position else we'll want to go to a random position and then we'll show okay and then we'll add the code for the start so when green flag is click we'll say a set variable we can set set the score to zero and then we can use a forever loop to make it kind of flash so we'll say forever look say change color effect by 25 and then we have to use a sensing if oops If touching the uh, this um, this treasure hunter, so we'll say if touching treasure hunter. Okay, we'll we we'll change the name. Well, I have two here. I think I was testing something earlier. So make sure that is correct. I don't have any two. Okay, all right. So with touching treasure hunter. Okay, we'll change the score. change change the score by one going up and we'll play this sound i have the fairy dust right yep i already loaded so we'll say sound play sound fairy dust 
and then we'll hide it we'll hide this gym and what we can do is we can like wait for three seconds or something like that however one many second you want to wait and then we get, well, go into call the random position again so we'll move the gym to another location all right and initially you can set the gym maybe right here or something like that if you want then you know this gym will always go here right okay now let's start you can see the gym is kind of flashing i catched it it went away so with the get up we can get that right you can run and slide so let's slide and try to catch this gym here so you can do that so so this is uh, pretty much when we can add the uh, sound in the back uh, you can use whatever sound you like um, you can use a forever loop and when the flag is clicked we can say um, control forever and what we're going to do is we can upload a sound or you can use one of the random sound I had one of the sound I previously uh, gotten so this one we'll try to play this one so um, place this uh, sound here say until done and we'll repeat okay let's save this let's test the game one more time let's take some time to save because the wave file is kind of big uh, if you want you can just use any kind of file here right you any loop, loop music they have a lot of them actually you can go here you can find here say let's say you say search there's plenty of uh, loop music you can use you know one of the sound anything is fine okay all right so let's start this game again we'll save everything oh what well, they'll rename it call it maybe a uh, platform game scratch platform game okay all right let's make it big let's try to run this right now so you can see the treasure hunter is running fine he's sliding fine he's getting the gym so oops i think this is a little high i think i'm gonna maybe change that move that down a little bit more so that way it's easier to get up to the top get down here so it looks like it's working fine so so all right so the score is working fine it's able to slide and you can add other costume here other other like some um, decoration i think one decoration the couple of decoration with this uh two uh power set might not work well is uh, because of the uh, the white background here this white little white thing so it kind of matched that cream color match the like the skull and the, uh, the some other stuff so it might not work well so just depending on the uh, situation you can use the uh, the uh, cactus and the bush and all that you can add it to this uh, game so this is I don't have any level as you can see I don't have level one right so but as you can see just like the ninja game you can create multiple level and uh, hopefully you learn something out for this uh, platform again okay all right so this is a little easier so all right all right see you guys next time okay all right bye bye